mask in that song. Hey fellas, well, time another movie trailer vlog, given how, how my theater is currently closed for the week. Hey, don't worry, I'm still intending to who see Sean Chi soon, who probably not opening in day, but opening weekend definitely. A free guy also might be fun, but for now, gonna cover three ones I have not hot yet, including, as you can tell, my mask, one that I giantly officially dropped up, so let's get started. So let's start with the newest and probably the biggest one that I've seen Spider Man No Way Home. That there were many rumors. Hers, as well as like a, a leak a, that was basically a cam rip of someone who recorded on their phone. phone. It's been buzzing about the this the third and final installment of the Tom Holland trilogy, though not the final time we'll be seeing him in this franchise. Well, with all the speculation it seems, indeed the rumors are true. The film takes place after the events of Spider-Man and Far From Home, dealing with the fallout of that movie's denouement, haunt where half of New York City and the entire world is demonizing in Peter, whereas the other half is half still stands by him. And so I'm actually I'm liking the already I, I had another one on my wish list that's much simpler that he's trying to work through this a balance of two lies, which admittedly we haven't seen as much uh, since the second of the Raimi films where we're still my favorite of the Stanley movies. These mean Actually makes sense trying to work through this like he doesn't have Tony help him this time. So he turns to Doctor Strange, which he's now on first name basis with a Steven, with a PH, or help, mine's with a V. He and in an attempt to try and high and and undo the damage Steel has wrought, uh, this ends up opening up the multiverse. Which brings in both, both is going to bring in both the Tobey Maguire and the Andrew Garfield version of the character, but also some antagonist from respective films as well. Which Pumpkin Bomb means we're going to be seen in at least one of the goblins from the movie trilogy. He, and also that reveal, as you know, part of the thumbnail, Alpha Mina's Doctor Octopus. Which is another one of my favorite version of the character, which I have to combine I mean, I mean, the elements I like most about how that, that and I am kinda of liking to see how these characters are gonna interact, how each one's distinct personality, the way anyway, doing things. I still have a soft spot for the movie trilogy, even with the Infamy the Third one. Especially given how people are still watching it and still memeing it. I keep seeing all these deep fakes to so like the the antagonist at Parker, my feet, mean, he, I mean, and some of Jimmy D's Peter Man collab was also pretty funny too. Who, and I may have had issues with the amazing films, but the casting definitely not one of them. They definitely got a lot of good people together in those movies, and even though, yes, the concerns about it being potentially overstuffed are definitely not without merit. It's, it's, Given how the studio has done a good job of balancing ensembles of cast, I mean, making like they all get their time to shine. Hope if they play their cards right, I think they will. Oh, this will be definitely could be like the third amazing film or the fourth raving film we never got. I mean, apparently they're actually going to have like apparently like Bruce Campbell was cameos. Apparently, what he was going to be steal initially would have thunk it. I mean. It's coming out December 17th, and given how Spider-Verse did relatively well a few years back, coming Sony Animation's most acclaimed and successful film, more spin-offs on the way, I think it'll definitely be the Christmas present, as in like, I could definitely use the year that was. In a way, I think we all could. Okay, 
And the final trailer for The Eternals, coming out on November the 5th. I mean, keep in mind, lots of these dates are subject to change. I mean, they didn't directly mention this movie on that earnings call they just had, but they're not ruling out sh uh, shaking things up again. They have to. Who? Which features, I'm like, another ensemble cast. I mean, it's also going to be he, Chloe Zhao's. House direct first direct toilet effort for the franchise and having come off like the award winning discuss of No Man Land and it's definitely gonna be interesting, like it's definitely consistent with a business model where they take directors and cast not only associated with big budget fair like this and making it work in this context, I mean and it definitely Hey and also I do explain why I they he weren't around during the events of the Infinity War Endgame or any of the previous films for that matter. I mean, not only had they basically faded to legend and myth by that point, but uh, it's apparently hey, they were under some kind of kind of prime directive deal like in Star Trek where they do not interfere with the natural development and the civilization. And, but the emergence, which has been is open up the multiverse and potentially right away for as I just mentioned not other versions of Spider-Man but also the X-Men, Fantastic Four, and essentially Deadpool as well. Just don't find my mask with that. Uh, but that has definitely changed that rule. I mean I definitely think it should be interesting. I mean I need to see how they're gonna especially given how they want to experiment more. We just had like an espionage thriller like a <coughs> A Hong Kong infused martial arts fantasy is about to open, and now we have. And even though, oh, I understand why she and and Cumberbatch have explained to the episode of Sherlock I worked on on a lot of elements to lay she carried from that story. To be fair, that's nothing compared to all, all of what Freeman's been saying. I. I don't know what to expect from him as Ross in the Black Panther sequel they're working on, but that's uh, mean. Apparently, other people he's worked before are hesitant to do so again or to defend him, but yeah, to be fair, I don't really watch, watch that, watch that show he does either. I mean, either I mean so, but. All things considered, definitely looks interesting, and once again, potential spoilers are being leaked through stuff like Lego sets and Funko Pop figurines, which I've been noticing quite a lot, like how both those things, things always showed me that that giant man was going to be in this war movie, it would be like the large scale pop and like the set of the Bite and Leap Zygman, like so... I'm definitely hey, very interested in this movie. Again, don't know about opening day, especially between that's when I'm going to be taking my last class and all this. Don't know what direction that Delta's going to take from here, but opening weekend and presuming that this date sticks is a priority for me, so yeah. And last but definitely not least is Pixar's Turning Red. Coming in March 2022. I mentioned before my in progress Pixar Marathon and drafting my Toy Story 2 script. That's me. My Monster Corporate is already written and ready to go. This movie's not going to affect that, but it still looks interesting where it's going to mark the directorial debut, like the future directorial debut of the same person directed the short bow. As I was saying, Hain. And this is definitely going to be, say, something like, something like a coming-of-age story, hey, where growing up, up is never really easy, hey, but it's definitely hey, much, much, much tougher when you, hence, the lead character is a young woman that can, that turns into a red panda whenever they're scared or excited, which, at 13 years old, happens pretty often. I mean, like, the concept 
it already has me interested, as does the setting, and I think it's relatively new who actress has going to be voicing the lead, and also, and of course, her mother is voiced by Sandra O. Oh, figures. If you need a stern but well intentioned mother figure, her for your her fiction work, you call Sandra O. Oh. I mean, I'm not gonna answer that, so. Oh, I mean, robocalls. It's getting really irritating. And. I, again, I really do not know what's going to happen in the near future, let alone the, on this, this decade. I mean, I, I still submit that, that I've heard all these things the same before in, in the past when and there weren't you know, all these viruses around. You know, that's, I still believe that there is room for both the legacy business models and new emerging ones I mean ones mean I mean it'll take time I am but one un, un idea is not immediately cannibalize the other overnight I mean hey to me there are transitions I mean and even given considering how onward was one of the last three movies I saw before it started heard in and alongside the Sonic movie and Birds of Prey. And given how much I enjoy watching Soul and Luca, uh, uh, and given how those movies tend to be pretty successful streaming, I mean, why did I end up seeing this movie theatrically on Disney Plus? I welcome it. Uh, like, it doesn't actually have like a concrete release date yet, just as March 2022. So, yeah. I guess now how that by that point I have been into these movies for now twenty seven years so oh so, all right so that'll be it for now oh I definitely have another video oh tomorrow ho oh, like my first impressions of of Marvel's What If and I will definitely see you all later. Mm.